The first place I'm going to visit here in Minneapolis is the intersection at 38th and Chicago. This is where the George Floyd murder happened. I have read that the intersection is now a shrine, so uh, I thought it might be interesting to see it. I'm approaching it now, but I'm going to drive through the intersection from all directions several times so uh, we can get a good look at it. Anyway, in May of 2020, George Floyd bought cigarettes at Cup Foods. Uh, apparently he used a $20 bill that was counterfeit, so the clerk called the police on him. They showed up, and uh, we all know what happened next. The unrest that erupted afterwards was the second most destructive to property in U.S. history after the 1992 L.A. riots. That's Cup Foods right there in front of me. Now, I also read that the place has become a pilgrimage to people protesting racial injustice, but unfortunately, crime has escalated in the area after the incident. Five people have been murdered in this intersection since, including a pregnant woman. Apparently, there's been a tug of war between activists in the area and the city. The activists want to close the area off and make it a autonomous zone. The city wants to open the streets up, but uh, here I am driving through it, so I guess the city got their way. Now here's the front of Cup Foods, and this is the spot where it actually happened. You can see they have really made it into a, well, a shrine. And uh, it's become a place that people from all over the country come to see. Okay, well, that was interesting. I'm going to head into downtown Minneapolis now. Now, as I drive, I'll tell you a few things about Minneapolis. In 2020, the city's population was 429,000. That's 46th in the country. But that's not really representative to how big the city is. Together with its twin city of St. Paul, the uh, metro population is just shy of 3.7 million which is the 16th largest in the United States. So yeah, it's actually a large city. And when you're driving around it, you know that it is among the 20th largest cities in the country. Minneapolis is the birthplace of General Mills and Pillsbury, and at one time was the flower capital of the world. Uh, the Minneapolis park system is considered the best in the United States. The city has four professional sports leagues and uh, I went on the Reddit board just for fun, and this is what they say. Traffic is not bad. <laughs> Taxes are affordable. Panhandlers are minimal. And the hoods aren't that bad. So, there you go. All right, so now I'm going to park the car and uh, take a look on foot. But before I do that, let's see the skyline from the air. <laughs> It's a peaceful sight, isn't it? Believe it or not, I am in downtown Minneapolis. 
it's uh, right over in that direction. Let me zoom out. But I am going to head this way first to the banks of the Mississippi River, which is right over here. This is it right here. Goes downstream that way. Yeah, I'm gonna get up there and get a closer look. That is St. Anthony Falls. That is the only waterfall on the Mississippi River. It's really beautiful. I don't know if the camera is capturing the absolute majesty of what I'm looking at. It's really awesome. Can I give you an idea where I'm at? Here's the skyline, the city downtown. And I'll go across here. So you can see the river heading downstream on its long journey past cities like St. Louis and Memphis, where it ends into the ocean in New Orleans. Yeah, I could stand here and look at it all day, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that water. By the time you're watching this, it will have probably reached New Orleans and is emptying into the Gulf of Mexico. Looks like a piece of wood floating down the river. I'm on the other side now. That is where Anthony Falls is. This right here is actually an island. I believe it's pronounced Nicolette. If I pronounce it wrong, I'm sure someone will let me know. But yeah, that is an island right here in the middle of the Mississippi River, and uh, that is Hennepin Bridge. I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that right too. Yeah, it's gorgeous here. Downtown is this direction. I want to head in there in a bit, but it is really relaxing and it's just gorgeous along the river here. Swing this way a little. Get a look at this Fauché Tower, Art Deco, built in 1929. That's an awesome building. It was designed to look like the Washington Monument. It is really cool looking. As I understand it, it is a hotel now. So cool. I'm going to walk the downtown a little bit. Now you may or may not know this, but Charles Schulz was born in Minneapolis and raised in the sister city of St. Paul. He is of course the greatest comic strip writer of all time. He created Peanuts, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and uh, I'm a little disappointed that there's very little honoring him here. Man, that car's loud. <laughs> Boy, that thing uh, started and had a big, huge puff of smoke. But anyway. As I walk down the streets here. Yeah, I'm finding very little about Charles Schulz here, and that's a disappointment. Anyway, continuing on about Charles Schulz, Weirdly to me, the museum for Charles Schulz is in California. And yes, that's where he drew the strip and lived till he passed away. But the strip was inspired by his childhood here in Minneapolis and St. Paul. So I just I find it odd 
there's so little reference in him here. It would seem like he would be a favorite son here, and perhaps he is, but I would think there would be much more honoring him here. The peanut strip at its peak in the 1990s was pulling in four or five billion a year and was one of the five top entertainment properties. I grew up with Peanuts. I never missed reading it. I've got uh, bound volumes of all the comics, all the strips, and uh, they still make me laugh. I am walking up to the Mary Tyler Moore statue. Some of you are older, I know, looking at my analytics. So you may have watched this show. I did when I was a kid. It was filmed right here in Minneapolis, and it's kind of cool. They honored her with a statue right here in the city. Real nice street. It's a quiet street. It's got some music. This is one of the tallest buildings in the city. Calm and peaceful here. I like this. Anyway, I am going to uh, head to St. Paul now. There's some things I want to see there. So uh, I'm going to head to the Bronco. I'm going to head in that direction right now. All right, I'm heading to St. Paul now. Here's a little bit of info on the city. St. Paul is the capital city of Minnesota. The population in 2020 was 311,000. Uh, that's 63rd largest in the U.S., but I've already told you about the metro area. Collectively, these two cities' metro is among the biggest in the U.S. And uh, I was looking at Reddit, and one of the uh, posts that I thought was funny was this. Minneapolis is the girl you date, but St. Paul is the one you marry. I got a chuckle out of that. All right, time to see the St. Paul skyline from the air. It was difficult flying the drone here. Most of the downtown is restricted, but I did find a little area I could fly in, so here it is. looking at a freight train as it slowly rolls by the Mississippi River. I'm a little farther downstream in St. Paul now. I'm gonna go into the city and take a look. My understanding is that there are statues of Peanuts characters in a park downtown so I'm gonna go try and find those right now. I have always wanted to see them. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You're looking at uh, Cray Plaza. I think the second tallest building here in St. Paul. It's mixed use. There are apartments in there amongst other things. It's a really beautiful building. So, more of downtown in this direction. A building behind me, the Lumen building it says. That's impressive. It looks like a monolith almost. It must be real high tech. Look at the cameras. These are all around it. Must be some top secret stuff going on there, huh? This is what I was looking for. Some peanut statues. At least a bit of a nod to uh, one of their most incredible native born sons, Charles Schultz. Peppermint Patty kicking a football. And looks like it's, uh, Marcy reading her uh, book, and look, there's a little uh, Woodstock. That is fantastic. It's 
real pretty here. This is the uh, heart of St. Paul, I would guess. You can see the Wells Fargo building right there in mid-frame. Tallest building in town. All right, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. St. Paul sign. Do a slow pan around. This is usually a working fountain, I'm guessing. It's not working now. That's kind of a shame. Here's some more. I knew there were some more here somewhere. This is Landmark Plaza. So how cool, we got Schroeder and at his piano with Lucy. And it looks like we have Charlie Brown over here. Let's get a look at the city while I'm here. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Oh, Charlie Brown and Snoopy. How awesome, it's fantastic. And there's some more over here. So I'm gonna walk over and take a look at those. All right, so here, a couple more. Sally and Linus. Having a chat on the, uh, I guess a brick fence. Wish the uh, sun wasn't in the wrong place. You could see him better. But they're cool nonetheless. It's awesome. All right, you can see that Cray Center where I was earlier. Or was that Cray Plaza? Okay, downtown St. Paul. All right then, that's it for this trip. Uh, the wife wants to go to Mall of America. I thought about filming it, but let's be serious. Nobody wants to see that. So uh, this is the end here. In the morning, we will be heading to Des Moines, Iowa. So be looking for that video.